Hello, and welcome to Matt's Reloading Bench. Today, I'm going to be annealing brass for my Ruger Precision 6.5 Creedmoor. I'll be using the Annealies 2.0 model annealing machine, and I'm going to go through how to set it up and how to use it. Before we get to that, I want to go over the purpose of annealing brass. The reason that you anneal your brass is to heat treat the neck and the shoulder of the cartridge to make it softer so that it's going to seal in the chamber by expanding when it's fired. This causes all the energy to go forward and out of the muzzle and you don't lose any energy to it coming back around the cartridge into the action of your rifle. Before getting the annealer tuned for this cartridge, I need to change out the feed wheels. The ones that are currently on the machine are for a smaller cartridge. I have the machine set up right now for when I was annealing my 224 Valkyrie cartridges. Um, the wheels are just not wide enough from front to back to support the 6.5 Creedmoor cartridge. If I were to try and run the Creedmoor cartridge through it, uh, every few of them would fall off of the wheel and not be properly annealed. So I'm going to swap those out and I'm going to quick swap them out and then we'll get on to setting it up to be tuned properly for the cartridge. All right, to take the wheels off, put a 7 16 wrench there. And then just unthread the nut. You want to have this wheel at about 3 o'clock. You don't need to tighten it that much. It doesn't take barely any torque at all. Now if you look at these wheels, you can see that the ones that I'm putting on are about a quarter inch deeper from back to front than the wheels that I'm taking off. That little bit makes a world of difference when, uh, when you're running your brass through the machine. Now the bottom wheel, there's a nut on the back that you will have to put a 7 16 wrench on. And then loosen that. All right, so we are all set. The wheels are locked down. Next thing, we will get the machine plugged in, turned on, and get the speed setting tuned right with the torch. Next thing that needs to be adjusted is the torch positioning. So if you look here, I've got one piece of brass sitting on the machine. The torch is actually pointed pretty much right at the main housing of the cartridge. And if I were to run it like this, it would be annealing the main housing and not the neck and shoulder of the cartridge. So I'm going to have to take the, um, the torch tip and bring it out so that it's aiming pretty much what I want is right at the crease let me grab a pointing tool here. I would want it right at the crease where the neck turns into the shoulder. And that will get 
the shoulder itself annealed, and the case neck. To do this, I'm going to have to loosen this nut and then slide the whole holder out in this slide slot. All right, got it loose. And we will bring that out. Then tighten it down. And as you can see, I've pretty much got the tip of the torch aimed right about at the crease so that should get the flame positioned where i want it the next thing we need to do is get this torch lit and figure out the proper wheel speed so that we are not over kneeling or under kneeling brass all right so i've got a few pieces of brass that i found on the range a while back uh, when setting up the annealing machine, I like to use junk brass instead of good stuff because if I over anneal it, I don't want to do that on my good brass. So if I over anneal this, I can throw it in the trash and I don't care. So <clears throat> put the one on. Next, we have to light the torch. Turn the power on. All right, right there, the flame is turning orange, and that means that we are changing the properties of the brass, and it is slightly over annealed. So I'm actually going to speed up the unit. and try another piece. That actually looked pretty good. I did not see any orange flame. The flame stayed blue the whole time. We'll try one more just to double check our work. All right, I'm happy with that. So I'm going to set the machine up with the brass that we'll be using and we will run it all. All right, I've got a old baking pan off to the side that I'll be putting the brass on the pool as I do this because the bin down here will only hold so many and that might start spilling over.
All right, 150 pieces of brass are all annealed. I've got them on this baking pan to cool. I'll probably leave it alone for about half an hour or so, and then the brass is ready for whatever loading we're gonna do.